for, for anyone on SSRIs, do they, like, after a couple of years, like, not really work as well at all for you anymore because I take Prozac for OCD and some of my OCD rituals that were really, really bad that like I haven't done since I really started these meds has come back and I don't really know what to do. I don't want to get on other meds, so... Hey, I'm Ethan, I'm a pharmacist, and I'm going to tell you why. So there's actually a name for it. So the diminished effectiveness of SSRIs over time is called tachyphylaxis, or you'll just hear it as antidepressant tolerance. Let me explain how this happens. So think of SSRIs as like drinking coffee to stay awake. Initially, a single cup works amazing. But after months or years of regular coffee, your body adapts by becoming less sensitive to caffeine. So you might need more coffee to feel that same effect, or it's gonna stop working altogether. This is similar to like your brain becoming less sensitive to higher levels of serotonin, which is facilitated by an antidepressant like Prozac. But Ethan, don't all SSRIs act the same? So if I just get switched on another one, it's gonna cause the same thing. So I got another analogy for this. So think of your serotonin receptors as locks and your antidepressants as keys. While multiple antidepressants unlock serotonin related effects, they aren't identical keys. Some keys might fit slightly differently, opening the lock in a new way, or even unlocking additional nearby doors, like other transmitters, so like dopamine or norepinephrine. So when you're switching to another SSRI or, you know, an SNRI, for example, you might activate areas your first medication wasn't effectively addressing. 